This week, Jeffrey Tubin made his triumphant return to television. You remember Jeffrey Tubin, right? He was the guy who got caught jerking off during a Zoom call with his co-workers and was subsequently fired from his job at The New Yorker after 27 years and became the butt of every joke on the internet. Well, this week, CNN had him return to work as the head legal analyst on camera, but not before humiliating him one last time and making him relive the biggest mistake of his life in what had to be the most unnecessary, emasculating, and demoralizing thing I think I've ever seen on television. Fellow anchor Allison Camarota recapped in painstaking detail the reason why Tubin had been suspended for several months, and before giving him the floor, asked him one last obnoxious question, quoting Jay Leno, what the hell were you thinking? What was he thinking? Clearly, he was thinking, this Zoom call is super fucking boring, I think I'm gonna masturbate because I turned my Zoom camera off. Obviously, that's what he was thinking. Jeffrey Tubin then delivered this explanation. Well, I wasn't thinking very much, and it's something that was inexplicable to me. But I think that one point, I wouldn't exactly say in my defense, because nothing is in my defense. Uh, yes, it's clearly saying in your defense. This is definitely in your defense, Jeff. But I didn't think that I was on the call. I didn't think that other people could see me. And then that bitch goes, you thought that you had turned off your camera? And Jeffrey continues, I thought that I had turned off the Zoom call. Now that's not a defense. This was deeply moronic and indefensible. It's, it's super defensible, Jeffrey. It's totally defensible. You just defended it. But I think that's one part of the story. Yeah, I think that's certain. Yeah, I think it's definitely part of the story. And I have now spent the seven subsequent miserable months in my life, I can certainly attest to that, trying to be a better person. I'm in therapy? Trying to do some public service? I'm working in a food bank? Working in a food bank, Jeffrey Tubin? Why in the world would that be something that you need to do because you got caught jerking off at work? I'm working on my new book, and I'm trying to become the kind of person that people can trust again. Who in the world lost trust in Jeffrey Tubin because he made a mistake with his Zoom camera? Like what, you're never gonna trust Jeffrey Tubin with your secrets because one time people saw him with his dick in his hand? You know, don't let him around children. He forgot to turn off his Zoom call. There goes Jeffrey Tubin. Don't ever call him if you're in a jam. Can't trust that guy. One time, the light was on and he didn't realize it. I mean, what the fuck kind of apology is this? Dude's working at a food bank because he was masturbating? What? In, in what world do you need to go work at the local soup kitchen because you were jerking off? And in what world does working at the food bank somehow erase <laughs> that you had your dick out in front of your coworkers? This might be more humiliating then when he got caught jerking off in the first place. It's not like he stood up in front of the conference call and started helicoptering his dick around. It's not like he was calling attention to it and saying, everybody look at me jerking off in front of my coworkers. It was an obvious mistake. Especially during a year when everybody was learning Zoom and teleconferencing and every old person learned how to FaceTime and hop on Zoom calls and turn their cameras on and off and mute and unmute. Everybody's made a mistake on a Zoom conference call. Jeffrey Tubin just happened to make one with his dick and balls out. But the idea that we need to drag this guy publicly like fucking Cersei doing the shame walk. I mean, Christ on the cross. Literally, come down from the cross, Jeffrey Tubin. What you did wasn't that fucking bad. And now you got these people politicizing and everyone on the right absolutely having a field day. Fox News would never do this. I can't believe there's not another legal analyst out there. What about cancel culture? What about giving people a second chance? What about people just having a fucking brain here and realizing that, yes, it's one of the worst mistakes you can make. Yes, it's deeply embarrassing. Yes, it's worthy of a suspension, maybe in some cases firing, but the fact that like, this guy needs to be ejected from society all because he thought he was doing something in private and it happened to be in public? Jesus Christ, let this guy live. Now, Jeff, on the other hand, let's, let's clean it up a little bit. Let's make sure that we keep all of our dick and balls in place and only take them out at the proper time, right? I know, listen, I get it. We all lived inside. It was in the middle of pandemic. You were trapped in your house. You needed to relieve some tension. You were stressed out. I understand. What you should have been doing was just hanging out on the couch wearing your free fly gear, the most comfortable gear in the world. You would have been loosey-goosey. You wouldn't have been all, all agitated. You wouldn't even need to do that. That's because free fly is made out of bamboo. How that works, I don't know. But if you
you go to freeflyapparel.com slash minute, you can get 20% off your order right now. Get some of the most comfortable shirts and pants ever, and you won't get caught in a Tubin situation. So I say let Jeffrey Tubin live. Let him work. Let him jerk. Let him live.